Grapes are one of the oldest cultivated plants in the world, and they're a perfect crop to have on an acreage. Today we're going to talk about growing grapes. We have Larry Engbers from Black Creek Vineyard. Larry, welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, tell me, how many acres do you have of grapes here? We have approximately five acres of grapes. Tell me, what's the first thing I need to do to get started with grapes? You need to have a good site uh, on which to plant the grapes and preferably it should be on a southern slope and where wind will travel through the vineyard. How would I get started buying the plants? Where would I go for that? You could go to uh, a nursery or to a commercial nursery and we go order ours from New York and Arkansas. I know there are many different varieties of grapes. Which ones do you grow? We have the Michelle Foch, the La Crosse, the Edelweiss, and the Chamberson. And these are all for wine production? Those four are for wine production, and we also have Canada's and Mars for the seedless table grapes, which we sell at farmer's markets. All right. Tell me about maintenance on a vineyard. What's required? We start our maintenance program early spring in March, where we have a dormant spray for anthracnose, and then we follow up on a biweekly uh, schedule for powdery mildew, downy mildew, and phylloxera. Can you tell me about the irrigation system? We use a drip irrigation system on ours, and we apply the water to the grapes uh, every day from May through July. Do you have any problems with frost? If there is a threat of frost after the buds are exposed, we use old bales to burn hay and use a smoke screen to have an inversion layer to keep the frost from affecting the buds. I noticed you had some tubes around some of the bottoms of the vines. What's that for? We use those to start the vineyard uh, when we first plant. Those act as a small greenhouse. It also also helps us to, uh, when we spray, that we don't get the chemicals on the young vines and it keeps the rabbits away. Can we take a look at some of your grapes? We would love to have you see them. All right. Larry, these are beautiful grapes. Thank you. What variety do we have here? These are the Shamerson grape. And that's a wine grape? Yes, it is. And how long does it take for a vine to come into production? We let them produce 30% in the first, on the third year, and they are in full production the fifth year. How do you prune the vines? We prune every spring, we prune each individual vine. And the way we do that is that we use renewable spurs and we cut off all of the vines, like in here, we would take that completely out. Oh, that's quite a bit. I noticed the wire netting, what is that for? That is for bird uh, protection. Because the birds will just come in and start eating away and... Once the grapes are ripe, they can tell that within 24 hours and they'll clean you out. Wow. Now, what time do the grapes uh, start to really, I mean, at this point they're not ready to harvest, but how do you know when they are? We use the BRICS test and the pH test and a TA test and that will determine when they're ready to harvest and the wineries then let us know when they want them delivered. What are you measuring with those tests? The sweetness. The of sweetness, the so yes. it's a sugar, kind of a sugar yes, measurement? What time is harvest or what time of the year? We start the second week in August and we will end the first or second week in October depending on when the first frost comes. And every variety has a different time that you we harvest? We are approximately two weeks apart on each variety. Okay. How do you harvest the grapes? We have service groups come in that pick in them five-gallon buckets, and we put the five-gallon buckets in a refrigerated truck, cool them down to 34 to 38 degrees, and then we deliver the grapes the next day to the wineries. And you've talked to the wineries in advance. Do you have a contract with them to sell the grapes? Yes, we contract our grapes in May, and we keep in constant contact with them, and we invite them to be in the vineyard to inspect the vineyard on at least once and preferably twice during the growing season. And when you actually harvest, uh, do you just sniff them or how do you do that? We have what they call a grape fork and we take the cluster in one hand and simply cut it off with the other. Now, how many grapes would it take uh, to make a, you know, a glass of wine? It takes approximately 12 pounds of grapes to make one gallon of wine. So I've got about a thimble here. That's about right. <laughs> well, they look wonderful, Larry, and thank you for sharing that information. Thank you for coming. So if you've been thinking about starting a vineyard, hopefully this will get you well on your way to a successful grape crop.